Hello and welcome to another episode of the South Park Heritage Experience. I'm your host, Taylor Canny, and today we'll be exploring the Denver South Park and Pacific Railroad. In the 1800s and early 1900s, this was a pipeline for tourists and miners alike. There isn't much left, but thanks to a few avid rail fans, that'll change soon. So how far down are we uh, taking the rail here, guys? Through the roundhouse? The Denver South Park and Pacific uh, Railroad was uh, started in Denver uh, about, about 1872-73. First uh, town in that uh, went to was the Morrison. And then from there they started uh, building up the canyon towards Chatfield Reservoir and uh, entering Platte Canyon at Waterton, what's now Waterton. And uh, 1878, it reached Bailey. And then from uh, Bailey, it uh, went to Shawnee, Grant, and up over Kenosha Pass, and down into South Park, and then hitting the town of Jefferson and here in Como. So Como became basically the hub of the railroad. So there were many families living here year-round, snow or not, to keep the railroad running. Well, Como doesn't look very much now, but at one time it was a very important town in South Park. Um, it had the largest number of registered voters for a start, and um, it was vying with Fair Play to be the uh, uh, county town back in the 1880s. So you look around now and it doesn't look very much but it, it was a, a, a thriving railroad town. And back in those days, if you wanted to go traveling through the mountains, then the railroad made a major difference. Your alternatives were not very pleasant. People look at 285 now, and it's an hour from Denver. But before the railroad came here, it wasn't. It was several days of hard, hard trek. There are three buildings in Como on the National Historic Register and uh, the hotel, the depot, and the roundhouse behind me. So I've been here nine years, and very shortly after I arrived, um, I got involved with the Denver South Park and Pacific Historical Society um, uh, with the intent of at least stabilizing the depot, which was on, at the time in danger of falling over. Um, and nine years later, it's pretty much fully restored. I mean, there's a few things left to be done, but it's 99% there. So we started laying track um, for our ribbon cutting a couple of years ago. And the original intent was just to put some track outside to set the scene. And then we decided that we'd keep on going and we we're heading for the turntable pit. We have a little pup-pup car and a handcart. And well, it would have been nice to think of a locomotive, but back then there was no expectation of a locomotive arriving. And this year all things changed. There's a, a locomotive that will be coming hopefully beginning of July, certainly in time for Roro Day, which is the third Saturday in August. So now we've got a bit more impetus to lay more track. The GoFundMe page for the uh, donations for this project are at uh, southparkrail.com. That's our show. Thanks for watching. To hear more of the conversation, please tune into uh, Google Play or iTunes to our podcast, Slice of South Park. Thanks again. Enjoy the day.